All right. Good evening, everyone. That was AJ Garcia, real estate investor, coach, and mentor here. So let's do deals every Tuesday, same time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like I mentioned, if you're new to the call, definitely welcome. Thank you for joining. If you have a deal you want to present, if you think you have a deal, bring it on here. We'll break it down and show you why it is a deal or it is not or how we can make it into a deal. Uh, Instagram, same thing. Wave your hand on there or drop a comment. I'll pay attention to y'all as well. We are not going live on YouTube this evening. Um, so it's just Zoom and Instagram, but uh, welcome everybody. Make sure you pay attention to the chat box. There are advertisements and announcements that we post on there. We'll talk about uh, some of the coaching and some other stuff also on here. But let's get started while we're here. So we're here to see about the deals. So we got some new deals. Uh, we'll update this spreadsheet here, this top right box, as you see when you first entered this, uh, let's do deals. Um, got a few new areas, so we'll definitely update that as well. But, all right, how do I move this? Here we go. A couple, we did not get to upload this. Uh, it, it's been out in the field. If y'all follow me enough, you know that my Tuesdays is out in the field reviewing deals. So that's what I do on Tuesdays all day. This week, it looks like I'm going to be back out in the field on Thursday and on Friday, getting you deals. That's what I'm doing. And I'm working hard on mobile home parks. I know a bunch of you investors, you're not interested in list their parks. That's okay. We got parks coming. We got a few we're already reviewing at this time. We got about seven we need to review uh, that we reviewed some slightly out there while we're out in the field today. Got some numbers, so we'll be doing that as well. Very different how you review a mobile home park and a mobile home. First of all, so some of you, I know some investors talking about, well, it can't be very different from, it is very different. I'm on the call right when now. You're talking I just about, you. Remember this here. You're talking about a personal property, which is just one individual mobile home to now mobile homes in a park that include land. Now you involve real estate. So, and not only Hold that, on. I mean, you're talking commercial, you're talking about ROIs from all the above. You're talking about expenses from all the homes. I mean, the list goes on. That's a whole, um, that's a whole coaching there on there. I, I think everybody's on here. So I was waiting for a couple of people that were pending, but okay. So let's get started. We got a few units here, a few other ones. And don't forget to go through all the spreadsheet, the tabs on the bottom. Okay. All the tabs on the bottom are a deal. If they need to be moved, it'll say move after the city and state where they're located. If it's just say something like Dublin, Georgia, 34, that just means it's in the community park and it can stay obviously in the community. Okay. So, yep, this is one of the new ones here. So, this is a single wide, uh, Dublin, Georgia, lot 34, two bedroom, one, two bedroom, two bath. Lot rent there is 450. It's actually 425. Lot rent is 425 there. Um, okay, what's happening here? Okay. Rent the rate in this area, and we'll give you these numbers just to make it that much easier for you. So, rent the rate in the area is around 650. Um, if you were to convert it into an RTO, finance, you create a note, you're the bank. Bottom line, you can. Bump this up to about 700 on this unit. Resa value once it's ARV after repair value, you're looking at around 18K. We are only asking for this home 1750. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on these pictures here. If you are not part of our CRM and do not get coaching uh, emails and or this sheet here with the less two deals, send us an email. We will add you to a spreadsheet and you will get it. You can take your time and review these at the comfort of your home. Okay, so that's one of the units there. Next one, same park. And another thing we got coming now is portfolios. I know some of you investors are looking for more of a bulk, maybe three, four, five, even 10 units at one time. We got one now. It is heavily under review by a bunch of uh, big investors. We will start breaking it down. I am referring to the Warner Robins uh, deal. It is one of our tabs here, so y'all can review it as well. Um, if the investors don't come through by the end of this week, we will start breaking them up, meaning that they will be available individually. Okay. This next one here is lot 210, two bedroom, 1.5 bath, one and a half bath, lot rent again, 425, not 450. Rental rate is 650, same in the area, same park, same market. Okay. At, um, asking 2,500 for this unit, resale value 18K as well. The outside could use a pressure wash. As soon as I pulled up to the home, I noticed that. And these are one of my favorite units, by the way, metal on metal. Why are metal on metal one of my favorites? Easy, easy rehab. OK, all around. Got a question on that? Bring it on the coaching. I'll break that down for you. But when you look at the inside, there isn't a whole lot of work that needs to be done. OK, a lot of this. And again, when you think about a mobile home investing and in some of the most some of the most expensive things that you can think of, think immediately electrical plumbing. And by these, I mean, obviously, a significant amount. If it's a light fixture, if it's a small leak into the toilet, 
that's an easy fix. But when you're talking about redoing the entire home electrical, redoing the entire home plumbing, that's an expense. And that is a make or break kind of deal. OK, so something to keep in mind. But something like this put together, come in, clean up. I mean, look at the home. This is not what the homes look like when I started rehabbing. You know, I did a video the other day. I cannot remember what video I was making. And I showed the third. Oh, I think it was the uh, investing with Jay on Wednesday. We'll talk about that call. But I showed the third mobile home that I picked up when I first got started seven years ago. It didn't look like this. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, if they were all this easy, my goodness. Uh, okay. Next one. All right, another single wide. Uh, Dublin, St. Park, uh, lot 222, 222. Two bedroom, one bath. Uh, it's down. Rent the rate. Again, same numbers, 425. We'll change this for you. Resale 18, asking 3,500 for this one. This one here, metal on metal. And this is why I like some of these, uh, the, the metal on metal. One is the roof. You know, roof is the third most expensive thing that you can't put on a mobile home. Depends on the mobile home. If you got shingles, if you got a double wide, if you got to put a whole new metal roof, that is an expense. OK, and we can give you some quotes. We've done some different roofs with. Uh, they look great, obviously, but it is an expense when you're talking about metal on metal. Unless you have an extreme issue with the roof, resealing a mobile home, metal on metal, you're talking about under five hundred dollars. Bring it on the coaching. I'll tell you how you can do that. This home here belonged to a previous investor. OK, a previous investor that apparently came in, did some work. Didn't follow up and it went back to the hands of the mobile home park. OK, we do business with many, many mobile home parks, park owners, and that's how we connect and we get our inventory. So this is one of the units we're getting. I mean, the the outside, they did phenomenal. And again, look at these pictures on your own time, but phenomenal. All the skirting, they washed it, pressure washed it, resealed the roof, repainted the exterior. Beautiful home. OK, for a mid, mid 80s, this is the, the, it looks very nice. On the inside, however, they did not finish. It doesn't need extreme work, and a lot of the material is already in the home. So that's a plus to you. And I think that's what it says here. We're going to grow these, put these little letters a little bigger there. Okay. Okay. Let's move along. A couple more people just joined, I think. Now, that was Dublin, which is east, uh, and it is east Dublin, east, east uh, Georgia. Now we're moving down to central Georgia, okay? Central Georgia, Macon to be exact. So Macon, Georgia, we had a few investors that were interested in trying to get inventory down in this park. This is actually a newer park of a mobile home park owner. They're doing very well. I've coached them in the past, and they are steady getting mobile home parks, okay? We're right behind them, though. So this is Macon, Georgia, Lot 8. Now, for those of you that are new and wondering, why is there no address and why is there no park uh, name on here? We are doing that on purpose, okay? We like to know who is going out to the parks and reviewing this. Yes, I like all of you, any of you who are looking to invest in these mobile homes to go out there and physically put your eyes on them and walk the homes. Now, I've done all these already. I don't buy mobile home site on scene and I don't expect you, whether it's me who goes out there or gets boots on the ground, I suggest, yes, you go out there and check it out. But only then when you message us and tell us, hey, I am interested in the two bedroom, one bath, single wide that you have down in Macon, Georgia, lot eight. We will give you the address. OK, reason behind that is long story short, we had people just showing up at parks and just reviewing, going in and out. We didn't even know who was there. Park managers calling us. Hey, do you have so and so out here? I don't know. That was my response. It's not very professional. Right. So we had to cut that. And the reason that's the reason for it. So, but yes, we will give you all the details along with the year, make, model, and all, et cetera, to the mobile home. Older unit, very nice on the inside, minimal work, yet again, that it needs on here. Okay. And again, I know I'm moving a little quick here, but if you are not part of our CRM and you do not have the spreadsheet, let us know. This spreadsheet uh, updates automatically. It means anything I change on here, it auto automatically updates within a minute. So every time you open the page, it will give you the latest and the greatest. Okay. Next unit, Lot 24, same mobile home park down in Macon, Georgia. This one is a two bedroom, two bath. Uh, oh, lot right here. Let me break this down for you. So lot right here. This is not, I apologize. This is not the same park. This uh, park here is 375 for lot rent and it does include water. Next one is another park, probably 15 minutes away from that other park. Lot rent here is only 350 and it also includes water. Okay. Two bedroom, two bath, rental rate area around 650 plus. 
resale value around 18K. We are only asking 2,500 for this unit. This one needs a bit more 10 or 11 care, if you will, okay? Next unit, okay? Now this one is the same park as lot number eight, okay? So number eight and number 25 are in the same community park. Just letting you know in case y'all wanna go out there and check them out, you can check out two or three or however many are available in one time. Stop making extra trips, right? I'm trying to save y'all time, that's what I'm doing. All right, Megan, Georgia, lot 25, two bedroom, one bath. Lot rent is 375. Like I said, it does include water. Rental rate in the area, 650. Okay, similar to resale value, 18K. Asking 4,500. This home needs minimal. And it does have a brand new shingle roof. Let's talk about that real quick. What, what does it take to put a new roof shingle on a single wide? It goes by the, by the size of it. Keep in mind that not all single wides are the same size, just like I'm not all double wides are the same size. So you have maybe older units, more like 70 models that are 12 by 60s, 12 by 70s, et cetera. Uh, then you have the newer ones, which are 14 by 70s, 14 by 80s, or even 16 by 80s. So they get bigger, right? So that being said, obviously, you wouldn't expect a 12 by 60 shingle roof to be the same price as a 16 by 80. It's a lot more material, a lot more work, a lot more labor, a lot of intensive. So, but on average, let's say we're taking 14 by 70 and we want to redo a Entire roof, shingle, three grand, give or take. That's about what you're looking at. And don't forget, I mean, material has skyrocketed. It continues to do so. You know, I was a little bit blindsided by it. I've been meaning to make a real, a TikTok and a video on. So I uh, coach a lot on moving mobile homes, transportation, A to B. And we'll get into a few of those that do have to be moved. I was not able to upload them on here, but I'll give you details on that. Uh, a single wide on average from point A to point B within 50 mile radius used to be anywhere from 2,500 to about 3,500. It just depends. Now, that consists of them simply picking it up, taking it from point A to point B, setting it down, leveling, strapping it, and they're out of there. Which means that you still had to find somebody to hook up your utilities, your water, your power, put the skirting around the home or whatever it is that you're putting on. And then the decks or porches, whatever you decide on that. So that was an additional expense, too, on that. I am getting quotes right now. We have a mobile home that we need moved 6.7 of a mile. 6.7, which is seven miles. Let's just round it up. We need to move it seven miles. And I was shocked at first. I thought it was just one of those movers that are creative, if you will. Five grand. He just came out with 5,000 on moving. I thought. You're kidding. From point A to point B, you're moving at seven miles. I just need you to basically move it. We have contractors handy, man. We can get the hookup. Yeah, that, that's what it costs right now. He didn't talk much. Okay, moving on to the next guy. Well, five people later, getting the same quote, 4,500, 5,500, even 6,000, 5,000. I finally asked, am I missing something here? Like, did this something happen? Well, material, because you got to remember. Like anything else, you know, the move, the transportation is the same thing, but the setup, you know, everything that it takes under the home, because they have to put bricks, they have to put the straps, all those materials have gone skyrocket as well. So now these movers, now I'm sure they're raising the number some, but they have to allocate for those numbers as well, because they are the ones that have to come in and strap it, level it and put it on the ground. So yes, it uh, costs a lot more to do. That being said, you're talking from uh, point A to point B on a single wide. Within a 50 mile radius, you're looking at around 5,000. So in case you're wondering, I'm moving a mobile home. That's what it takes. Now, some of these mobile homes that we have listed on here, we got phenomenal deals as always. <laughs> but what is coming down to is, yes, some of this transportation may be more costly than the actual home itself. Allocate for the expense is all I can say to that, right? Okay. So here are the pictures to this one. Like I said, minimal work, beautiful home spaces. This uh Guesstimating at 14 by 70 is actually what you're looking at this one here. So another beautiful home, easy work. And I mean, for some of you new investors, again, this is not what mobile homes look like when I was investing in them. I mean, you're talking holes on the wall, electrical pulled out. You can basically walk on beams here, the two by sixes. I mean, these homes here are easy fixes, repairs, get in, get out, get them done and start making money. Passive created income, right? Any questions so far? back down yeah okay if anybody has a, a deal while i'm reading this comment section here uh 
unmute yourself, uh, drop a comment, or just wave. All right. Okay. Nobody has uh, any Instagram, anything over there? No. Okay. So um, a couple of places I will be visiting on Thursday and Friday is even further south uh, Georgia. We'll be getting a few more deals from down there from a few park owners as well. And then on Friday, we're actually going to Florence, Spartanburg, Florence, South Carolina. A couple stops to make there and a lot of inventory. So as promised, this sheet will be filled. By the end of January, I assume there's going to be 100 taps minimal on here. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. The two, the few deals that I saw today, we were not able to post them on here. We have a mid-80s single wide. It has a big addition, so we got to work that out anyway. It does have to be transported. It has to be moved. We'll get details on that. We have a few uh, details pictures right now, but we have not done a thorough due diligence, so that's one of the main reasons it is not on here. We have a beautiful, beautiful double wide. I don't think I've seen a late 80s model in that good of condition, and you will see what I am talking about. Okay, Kevin on um, Instagram. Yes, uh, Kevin, let me show your deal while I'm on here. Kevin, I have not forgotten about you. Um, we have some deals down in Albany, and that is actually where I'm going on Thursday. Well, Thursday, maybe Friday. I'm still trying to schedule it in. So here we go. I'm going to present it here for you, Kevin. So down in Albany, great market. Down in Albany is actually the same park where this home is at, is actually where we have our Airbnb. It is doing great, by the way. Thank nobody for asking. <laughs> Two bedroom, one bath. Move in ready. No rehab needed. Okay. Asking for 14K cash or best offer. Lot rent down here is only 250. It does include trash. Uh, Kevin, uh, the investor, he's on Instagram here. He will finance with a 3000 down payment. This, you know, and this is another thing we're working on now is creative financing. There is so many ways to be creative when it comes to investing in mobile homes. If you're looking to invest in a mobile home, something you can simply come in, pick up and put on the market and start making passive income. You can't go wrong with this unit. Numbers check out. OK. And when you have something as low as lot rent, I mean, my goodness. OK, you can't ask for more. If you're interested in this unit here, send us an email. We will connect you with Kevin or we will CC you in an email. OK, uh, as I was talking about the other unit in. Gray, Gray, Georgia, on my way back up from many, many stops. Our last stop was in Gray, Georgia. We have a late model, uh, 80s model, double white, three bedroom, two bath. It is a Horton, best made mobile homes. Hortons, my opinion, anyway. Um, we will get a lot more details on that. We got pictures to upload, but yes, uh, I've seen many mobile homes in my day. We've moved many units, but this unit here is definitely something that somebody took very well care of. So great unit. Stay tuned for that one. That one as well needs to be moved. I think the size of it is a 32 by 70. I will confirm first thing in the morning. Okay. Anybody have any deals on here and on Instagram too, just like Mr. Kevin here did. Uh, okay. Let me see. We got the. Uh... OK, so another investor, Prim, has got another unit as well. Lot number five down in the same park in Albany. Same lot rent, 250 includes trash. Um, pictures, we will upload a few pictures. And that's the thing is, if you come on this sheet here and we are missing a thing or two on here while we're presenting, Understand that the next day on Wednesday, Thursday, because Tuesday is our heavy day and it's typically my only day out in the field where I'm not collecting deals for y'all and putting them together. Wednesday, if we if we need any due diligence, if we're missing some pictures, if we're missing any information, that's when we take typically the time to go on here and start uploading everything, right? And making sure. So this is why the next day you can come in or Thursday or just every day. If I was an investor and I had access to the sheet, Every day in the morning, I would click in and just check in. Let me see what's changed. Let me see what's new, that kind of thing. There are some times when we pick up deals Thursday, Friday. I may come in. You know, Sunday is my day of coaching, so I typically come into the office anyway for a couple hours or so, and I may go ahead and upload a little bit on here. If it's not advertised, I mean, that could be something that you can jump in before other investors get heads on, right? So keep that in mind. Stay tuned with this sheet, and if you don't have it, again, send us an email. Simple as that, okay? 
Kevin, if you are willing to drop it to that price, let's talk. I will be in Albany and for on Friday, this Friday or Thursday. I got to see which days my schedule is going to work out. I'm traveling no matter what. I'm going to be in Albany and I'm going to be in Florence and Spartanburg this week, picking up inventory for you. all Okay. Florence is a heavy uh, South Carolina. I mean, South Carolina is amazing anyway. And I'll tell people, if you're in South Carolina and you cannot find a mobile home deal, get into real estate. That's all there is to it. I mean, my gosh, they're everywhere. But uh, get with me on that, Kevin. Uh, I'm I may be interested with another investor, possibly. So we will let you know. Okay. A couple advertisements on here while I'm advertising. If y'all have a deal still, let me know. Okay. So uh, we have a, and you, you've heard me talking about this. The perfect time to start investing in mobile homes is around December. Okay. Come January. February, March, April, and summer May, you have tax time. You have people, thousanders walking around the streets and everybody's got money. Everybody lends each other money. And bottom line is they're able to buy mobile homes on cash or put a pretty hefty down payment. That's a beautiful thing. We have a double wide meet and another investor uh, down in Warner Robins. The home is probably about three quarters of it completed at this time. And we already have a buyer. The buyer put a down payment today. And that's what I'm talking about. Perfect time to start investing. You know, come the end of January, and I don't know what all time and people get their tax time, but it seems that people are getting it earlier and earlier, somehow, some way. Okay, that's not my business. All I know is that it is a perfect time. You all should be investing in all this inventory here available. You should be jumping on board. So we were able to close that agreement. Uh, we will be finalizing that. And yes, that's a beautiful thing. You know, when you have a home that you're rehabbing and you have a buyer waiting that's already completed the the agreement. It's a beautiful thing. I love that, right? We didn't have that happening back in October, November. So jump on that. Let me know anybody who's interested in a deal. If you're a GMHU student, you know, you get first dibs anyway, let me know. Okay. Tomorrow we got the Wednesday call that continues. Now here's the thing is I put an ad. Okay. It's, it's a post more than anything. And it was five individuals, five everyday people. Okay. What does that mean? I'm going to break it down here real quick because we're still needing one more person. Now, I do have a few messages on Instagram I have to answer, but we are looking for five individuals, four people already set, five everyday individuals who are looking to invest and create passive income. You are going to be taught how to do that step by step in mobile homes. OK, now part of that is that you will also be joining our Wednesday calls at no cost to you. The Wednesday calls are right here. Now, you can go to GarciaMHU.com, visit and check it out as well. It's every day at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 60 to 90 minute calls, a lot like Sunday coaching series, but a lot more in depth. We go very specific. We have Q&A's every Wednesday. Any and every question that you have, you bring it on there and you answer it. That call is only $29.99. Originally, we had thought about it being a yearly subscription for $9.97. We dropped it down to monthly. There is no fee and cancellation. You can cancel at any time, but we do teach you step-by-step -step how to invest in mobile homes. If you're interested in that call, send us an email or simply visit GarciaMHU.com. Visit the coaching site, the coaching tab, I'm sorry, and uh, click on the Investing with Jay. It'll look just like that, right? If you want to be the fifth person to come in to, and again, I haven't checked all my social media and or our emails, but if you want to be the fifth person to join the everyday coaching, send us an email, simply request more information on. There's a few steps. We'll send to those to you directly. Any questions at this time? Uh, Tommy, go ahead. Hey, Jay. Hey, good, good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? I can hear you. It's just fine. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Jay, I know that all the I know you said all these homes and parks are subleasing and investor friendly. Uh, are, are you subject to a background check to these parks? Good question. Great question. So, yes, uh, I myself have to do a background in some parks. You know, that's just part of their process of what they do. The Dublin Mobile Home Park. Uh, yes, you do have to do one, only one. Background check, but the one in one Robin's making, no, you do not. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Just raise your hand on there at, like uh, Mr. Tommy did. So, okay. So we have the call tomorrow. Anybody want to join? Jump on there. And then don't forget on Saturday mornings, we're still doing the networking call. Networking call is nothing more than our local RIA 
from the comfort of your home. Okay, we're talking about mobile homes, so it's not a coaching call. We will answer some some questions on there, and of course, from time to time, I may go in coaching mode. That's just what I do. So it is what it is, right? But uh, come and join us at ten in the morning on Saturday mornings, uh, coaching uh, coffee and mobile home investing with Jay. And then, of course, the Sunday 8 p.m. coaching series, that's going to start picking back a little bit more on the Wednesday calls. We'll try to cover some of that topic on there as well and just kind of fit it together. OK, probably pre on that on what's to come on Wednesdays. We'll think about some of that unless some of you send me some emails on what you would like me to cover. We can break that down as well. And of course, a Q&A is right around the corner. Q&A is nothing more than a question answer back and back to fire. So once we get about enough questions on there, we got plenty of questions now. But I like to pick questions that I think uh, most benefit. And of course, the questions that most get repeated, that's the ones I choose. So if nobody has any other questions or any deals, we are done with this call. We will see you on tomorrow call if you join, if not on Saturday morning. And send us an email. If you are interested on this, send us an email. This uh, recap will be posted on our YouTube, our social media. Join our Facebook. Let's do deals. That's where they get posted as well. Come and post deals on there also. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, Instagram, for coming online. Y'all have a great evening and a great night. Thank you for joining.